Oh my god, it is freezing today. It is cold. It is wet. It is. It's not miserable. It's a. It's a good day. Phone's ringing. Let me just get that quickly. Today, if that's okay. Tomorrow. Hopefully tomorrow. Yeah. All right. Yep. I'm just filming the video, so no worries. Speak to you in the morning. Cheers. That was uh, Will from VRS. So I think I'm going to be taking the M5 up there next couple of days. Just I don't know. I, I've got these tail tips I want fit in. I want uh, uh, wheel spaces. Wheel spaces fitted as well. And I know what wheels like. He'll probably find more to do. So I might film a video doing that. All of that stuff as well. But look out for that. That might, may or may not happen. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, today's video is. Oh, today's video is an exciting video. I am. Uh, it's not just exciting for you lot. This is also massively exciting for me because. Not only do you lot get to see my E46 M3 Touring in its finished state, I say finished state, the bodywork's now been done, but I get to see it as well. So uh, it is now on the brand new M 18 inch M3 wheels with brand new tires and the bodywork is fully complete, all right? So we're heading up to Darkside Body Shop. I'm currently at uh, the service station. Where am I? Just outside of Milton Keynes, Newport Pagnell. I'm heading north up to Leicester to Darkside Body Shop. I'm gonna go see Dad from Darkside and see the touring in its current state so yeah massively exciting video massively exciting day for me as well let's just hit the road and get on it Guys, just a quick message before we get on this video. Um, I am giving away my BMW 335D this coming Friday, which is New Year's Eve, for nothing. So if you have not entered for your chance to win that car for nothing, head over to my website, planetofdreams.co.uk. There's a link for it in the description below, and I'll be announcing the winner this coming Friday on Instagram, all right? There is one main rule if you want to get involved, and that's basically you've got to be a subscriber or a follower of my social media platforms, all right? Dead easy, really, isn't it? Link's in the description. Go and get involved. Let's go on the video. Hi right, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, meet Daz and Hayley from Darkside Body Shop. The touring's done. Done, finally. It's finally done. Finally. Sure, like, it's been a big thing for you. Like, this car's yeah. been here for quite a while. I'm guessing you guys have been like flat out on it for quite quite some time now. Some hours on it, definitely yeah. some hours. We'd be glad to see the back of it. Yes, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> definitely, yeah. Um, yeah, it's took a... It's been a lot of work, isn't it? A lot of work trying to get it right because everybody's going to be seeing it. It's everybody's going to get so much attention. So the car yeah. now, obviously I've not seen it yet. Yeah. It's um, complete as far as you're concerned. Like complete. There's a little few little bits, but nothing. Nothing so we can move on with move the next on with, sort of yeah, texture of the project. Texture, yeah. So you've had it ceramic coated as well. Yes, yeah? Chris has done that. It's Chris like, from where? Um, it's just my mate Chris it's Track on Instagram. Yeah? yeah, he does all my balloting and stuff. Right, do you know what? I want to see it. So yeah. obviously I've not seen it yet. I've seen a few yeah. little teaser pictures Teaser, you sent me, yeah. yeah. Last week, uh, well, yesterday, yeah. Saturday, weren't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, let's, um, through them. let's cut through a little. Yeah, okay. Cheers, mate. Do you know what, whilst we're at this point of the video, I just want to mention something quickly. Looking back at myself now filming this video, I remember feeling speechless. Like, this is genuine shock. Mate. It literally looks brand new, doesn't it? <laughs> oh my God. I see, because you actually said someone come in and said to you, Cal, uh, Dad, the car looks like it's just come out of the factory, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, mate, uh, Barker, yeah. Um, uh, this is, it just looks battery. Oh my god, even all the gloss black trims Trim and all that. Because yeah. you've had to go out your way obviously to buy all these new trims and stuff, haven't you? Yeah, it's got cool. Yeah, the fronts we didn't have to buy. Because mm -hmm. um, they're so expensive. So it was just, just like... We've had to go to the main dealer for loads of bit. Obviously we bought the donor car that's outside as well, didn't we? Yes. Mate. That, that is stripped. I can't believe this car is looking like this. I know it's been a long time for me. This, this idea started like two years ago. Yeah. But, um, oh, you've got my plate on it as well. Look yeah, at that. Plate on it. <laughs> we didn't want to put the front ones on yet. 
<laughs> no, no, I was going to say that. Maybe don't put the front one on. We'll put it there just to... Do you know what? I don't think it could... It, I couldn't have imagined it to look any better than it does. You know that? When it first like, came in. Genuinely. Yeah, it was obviously in a bit of a state. You'd never imagine a car that... I know you guys are used to it. So... <laughs> I don't really know where to start. So the, obviously the car's been painted inside and out pretty much throughout, isn't it? Yeah, all by Hayley, apart from the roof. Well done, Hayley. Like, like this the is, roof. <laughs> you've done the roof, yeah? That's your, that's your little claim to fame, yeah? Yeah, yeah, so <laughs> the roof. credit for the roof, and then Hayley can have credit for the rest. Uh, obviously we've, we've put a new sunroof in it as well, haven't we? Yeah, new sunroof. Because that was um, thought the previous one didn't work or something, No, did it? it was all chewed up, spreads and stuff, so that all works now on the key. Amazing. Um, uh, we've smoothed out the front bumper, yeah, front so we've got a plate really delete. But we have got magnets behind, so if you want to put a plate on uh, it, that's a nice touch. We've also put brand new lenses in it as well, didn't we? Yeah, into the headlights, which are easy enough. Clipped off at the back, and you want to go on. They, even so, that alone just makes the front yeah, it makes them just look, brand just new. look really yeah. fresh, yeah. The mirrors were a bit of a challenge. Well, they weren't a challenge in the end, because we managed to buy them. Yes. So they are like basically E46 E46 M3 E46. mirrors yeah. adapted to suit a Touring, because touring, yeah. the angle here is yes, slightly different. Yeah, different, on a, yeah on a coupe, isn't it? So uh, they were straightforward, stripped down, painting them. Uh, we still need to wire them up, but I'll leave that to Will. Yeah, um, okay. Brand new yeah, side grills. Grills, indicators. Mate, it's everything. Rear the lights. Side trims as well, you've painted yeah. them, they're colour coded as well. Colour coded. 18 inch wheels, which is what I always wanted. Yeah. We've also got a set of 19s as well, so we can mm. mix it up. And the concept come with 18s, didn't I? Sorry. Yeah, well, the, the original well, car, BMW's car. Yeah. That's what this was obviously inspired by. Um, come in silver grey with 18 inch wheels. I think the only difference between our car and their one was this one's got sunroof. The sunroof. Yeah, which I really, really wanted. So, but the finish on the paint is, I don't even want to keep using the word brand new, but it literally is like it's a bloody yeah. brand new car, isn't it? Sunshine, it took a lot of time putting the polish in it. And Am I able to open the door? Is that, yeah, yeah. is that right? Even behind all the air, it's all nice and smooth, isn't it? All in the door shuts and everything, man. Even the inside of the doors. And inside doors, yeah. Sorry, man, I'm just, as I wander around, I'm just, I'm just little, literally just sort of soaking it in, but trying to film a video as well. Yeah. So, um, yeah, a bit of a funny one for me. So literally two years ago, me and Will sat down at VRS and was like, let's do a project car. And Will said to me, Cal, what's the dream project car? And my favorite cars probably of all time are an E46 M3, right? And I was like, Will, do you know what? About 10 years ago on Facebook, I posted this picture of an E46 M3 Touring in silver gray, it's BMW's own car. If we could recreate that, that'd be amazing. Now, two years later, I know it ain't fully running yet, but we're obviously gonna, it's gonna go from here now to VRS yeah. um, to get the engine and stuff like that done, but the car's looking like a car now, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Literally. It looks, it's still a bit high, though. It's still a bit high, it does need lowering, but I, I just literally just spoke to Will on the, way, uh, uh, on the way up here, and he said about suspension, there's so much uh, diff, we need so much more stuff. Yeah. This is literally just, it's the start it's of the hard. journey still, isn't it? It's still a long way to go, but yeah. it's just nice to sort of get a bit more of a vision for it now that all the bodywork's done, so, yeah. Even the fact that at this point, we've got the wheels done, you know, they're, they're, they're genuine 18 inch wheels. Yeah. They're, they've obviously been properly refurbed yeah. as well. Um, in the satin, was it silver chrome? Sorry. Shadow chrome, shadow sorry, chrome, yeah. shadow, done in shadow chrome and Michelin PS4 tires. We couldn't get S's for some reason, I don't think they do them. You only do them 19 and above. That's it, there That's you go. Saw, yeah. So we've got new front grills as well, I was gonna say yeah, that. New kidney grills, fog lights, inserts. So we've just got to get the, there's like a little grill that goes in here as well, I think, isn't there? Yes, for the ducks, they come with the arch lines, but I believe they're on the M3 anyway. Oh, okay. The wheels, oh, of course. Because all the arch lines are still there. On the yeah, front. yeah, we've got the genuine ones, okay. Yeah, um, so they need to go in. Genuine front grills, because they're chrome on the face and then dark on the inside as well. And all the BMW badges are all brand new as well, aren't they? Yes, every Throughout. single one of them. And then round the back, Oh, something else, again, going back to BMW's original car, these, yeah, roof these rails. Tr r trims, we managed to get a set of these as well, and that just, make it smooth. just smooths yeah. off the roof. And then around the back, the rear lights, are they new rear lights? Because the rear lights that were on the car, they were in a bit of a state, weren't yeah, they? Yeah, a bit of a state, uh, yeah, all brand new. Um, we went for the clear lenses. Top, top lenses, top yeah. Lenses to make it a little bit more just a fresher look. concept as well. Again, yeah. brand new M3 badge in the back M3 there as well. Badge, uh, yes. I 
true like I'm like <laughs> careful but I suppose it explains yeah, it's it. It's just like these silly little bits now we need to oh, so expensive that uh, there's another trim here. Mm -hmm. Um Mate, they so must I don't be... know if we could try and I don't get second hand ones or well, I don't know. There, there's spot. gonna be no end of more parts, parts that we're gonna to need to yeah. find and replace and well done. Yeah. I suppose from your guys' point of view, you, this is what you do all the time. And I'm not saying that you do to this extent all the time, but you do do some quite heavy projects, yeah, don't yeah, you? Yeah. yeah, we do, yeah. So, but to me, this is a big surprise, but for you... For me, it's probably one of the biggest jobs I've ever took off. Oh, is it really? Yeah. So, yeah. It is, so I'm trying to talk it down, like you, like you, you guys do this all the time. I could switch that, definitely. This is a big job for you then, yeah? Sleepless nights, thinking, wow, well, that's got to be right now, that's not quite right, and yeah, it was... It's been a journey. Well done, so, man. Well, now, the finished product, like, yeah. It, it is. So just push it out now, yeah? <laughs> yeah, get rid of, well, literally, get I was about, <laughs> get it gone, get it gone. <laughs> uh, yeah, I just spoke to Sorry. Wheels. What's that? Um, the, uh, obviously not the old oh, that is nice, isn't it? You still managed to yeah. keep that as well. Yeah. Nice little feature that is. Not that it probably ever gets used, but no, it's a nice feature, yeah. yeah. Like Scott panel, this is the best, but it's still not the best, obviously. Yeah, we need to get, we need to get new wiper arms, wipers, send the rears, because they're all rusting it. Yeah. Um, so there's a hell of a lot more parts. Still, gonna, yeah. Yeah, the thing is with you, you're yeah. now pointing out the things that you feel are missing, whereas yeah. I'm standing stood here and looking at it and like, wow, that, to me, done. it just it's looks glorious. Done. Yeah. Like, it's still a few of this, As I stand back here, like, it just looks. Even being inside under the nice lights now, it does look, yeah. it does look bloody good. So, well done, man. <laughs> well done. <laughs> That's brilliant. I don't know whether to hug you, whatever. <laughs> That's brilliant. It is absolutely brilliant. But uh, so, as far as you're concerned, you're now done. So the next thing's going to be uh, heading. This is going to yeah, go into we'll, an enclosed container, uh, enclosed uh, a trailer. trailer. Yeah, Will's going to come and pick up tomorrow, I believe. Uh, drop me another vehicle off. What I've got to do for him. Um, yeah. And that's it. That's it. And then this, there might be a few points me to come up, I'll just go up one night with him and just do bits and bobs that need doing. No doubt there'll be little bits and bobs yeah. for you guys to do. Um, but the majority of it is, is complete. Done, yeah. <laughs> the harvest <it's> done. <laughs> well done. Yeah. Oh, wow. Wow, that is literally, that is one of the best looking cars I think I've ever seen in my life. It's such a cool looking car. I think for me, like, I said it before, this is something that I've personally always wanted to do. It's, I mean, it's amazing that I can get it all on YouTube and document it and show the world it as well. Uh, but for me, this is real personal to me. And like I said, E46 M3 is probably my favorite car of all time. And the fact that they never even made a saloon one um, was, was qu quite strange really. But the coupes, they just look beautiful. They're such a good looking car. Probably one of the best looking cars ever. And I always thought if there could just be a practical version of a coupe E46 M3, that'd be amazing. And here I am all these years later, and I've, you know, it's getting there, isn't it? It's getting there. So, big shout out to Dark Side. Like, them lot, what a great bunch of people. They're all, they love cars, obviously. They're a family, like, they're all, they're not all family, but the majority of them are family. Uh, but they all seem to work really well together. They've got a good way about them. Uh, they actually all come down to my wedding a couple of weeks ago. So obviously, we are up in Leicester in a minute. I got married down in Luton, that's obviously my hometown. And, uh, they all traveled down, literally the whole lot of them, they all traveled down to the wedding and it was brilliant to, you know, we, we've got like a personal relationship as well as a working relationship as well. So if anyone wants any bodywork done, obviously I'm gonna recommend them because uh, they're just a great, great bunch of people and you can see they've done an amazing, amazing job with that car. So uh, the next step of the journey for me is uh, getting it to VRS. VRS have actually got the actual M3 donor car still. Uh, the engine's come out of that and it's gone off to be acid dipped or something. It's going to, it's getting fully rebuilt. And the plan is to continue on with the journey of, uh, we're going to go fully forged with the engine. We're going to put a big turbo on it. Um, new ECU, loads of stuff. Um, so mechanically it's going to be, I'm not going to say what an M3 should have been, but just an M3 with a bit of power. Yeah. Cause the, the standard engine it does feel a bit underpowered nowadays so we're going to turbocharge it and uh, try and get a bit more power out of it so that'll be exciting as well for me like seeing the car in its the, the, the way it is today I, I don't know I don't want to use the word emotional but I did feel a bit like a bit overwhelmed man I looked at it I was like this is 
this is amazing. Like, you don't see these types of projects regularly, do you? I've certainly never seen an M3 done. I've seen M3 Tourings done on social media and that. Never seen one in front of me. And I don't know if there'd ever be one as amazing as my one would be. <laughs> Maybe I'm saying that because it's my baby. But uh, it, like, it literally looks brand new. But I'm going to stop banging on now. I'm glad that I'm here answering the questions that people keep asking me. Calvin, how's the M3 Touring getting on? Well, you've got a good idea now what's going on. It's getting there slowly but surely, and the end result will be, the, the, the final product even will be, it will just be a fully brand new, inside and out, E46 M3 Touring. Exactly how BMW perhaps should have made one. The interior is obviously going to be brand new as well. Every nut and bolt underneath is going to be brand new. It's going to be completely brand new, and we're slowly getting there, all right? So I'm going to stop talking now. Thank you very much for watching. Please, um, I'm going to put a link for Dark Side Body Shop in the description below. Support them where you can. I appreciate that a lot. Uh, but thank you very much for watching. If you did like this video, do me a favor. Hit the like button. Hit subscribe if you're new to my channel for a new video every Wednesday and Sunday at 6 o'clock. And if you're on Instagram, give me a follow on Instagram. At Calvin's Car Diary. And for those that are looking for any free stuff on Planet of Dreams, of course, we give away stuff every Friday. Um, so if you, want to, if you want anything for free, head over to planetofdreams.co.uk. All right? See you in the next video. In the next episode of Calvin's Car Diary, meet Kieran, the fellow who won the purple Audi TT on Planet of Dreams.